So let me run this. So in the last class you see that this is a React application. In the React application, guys, I have created a counter machine or counter machine application. Uh, where I use this simple two things. One is use a state hook, which will help me to update the variable on the screen. Okay. So let me run this. I need to run for npm start is a command for running this application. And after running this, it will open okay, my another port. Is, my port is already running. So let me no. So let me check which port is running. Okay, so my project is already open. So again, I'm trying to open this. I hope this time it will work. And you see, this application is open in the browser. And the browser you see in the last class, I have add multiple things. This is the add button. It is the meaning that you are going to update the value from by one. Subtract button. Also, I'm adding a reset button. And in the last class, also I teach you how to add an input field. Okay. This thing is already discussed in the last class. Uh, the code is there, and I said the, uh, I already shared the code with you, where I'm adding this uh, adding some function to add function, sub function, and own chain function. This function are related for their functionality. Add function has functionality to change the value from the one. I already explained these things. What is the meaning of this in the last class, and also why where on chain is using on chain is added here. Means when you put something, it will trigger on chain function, and this is the function it will update the value. Okay, so this is thing already discussed. So now I am going to use uh, this class for this class. I am going to use a things where I am capturing the data. From the some HTTP link. In the last class, I open uh, a website called Open Weather API. In this case, you see that this is a company providing the data, free data, for making your application, weather application. And in the API doc, you see when you passing something uh, like this. Open in a browser. I am just modifying this data. Just wait. Uh, like uh, I am using Q and passing the city name. Suppose Kolkata, and I need to be API ID. The API ID of they, uh, they are providing after the login. I am already logging in this case, so I am going to this my API key. And oh, again, I need to be logged. And after the login. They are providing this email, this API. Where I passing this API, guys. Here, they are giving the data in this format. Don't worry, this format maybe you looks uh, too difficult to understand right now. But I will explain these things in my classroom. This is the data, our uh, information of the city, Kolkata city, and their information uh, and their weather information. You see that code is here with a key, and this is a value. And value, and this value contains another key, long means longitude, and lat is latitude. Apart from this, they are mentioning some like um, pressure of city, humidity, even this like some wind speed, degree, and the cloud. Okay, everything is. Uh, explain it here and I am going to use this API to make our application okay so today we are going to learn two things what two things first thing I am going to run two things first me like capture data from HTTP or HTTP or HTTPS link using some library. Using some library. So today I am going to use the access library here. Second, 
डिस्प्ले और कन्वर्ट दिस डेटा कन्वर्ट डेटा एंड डिस्प्ले द डेटा इन द प्रॉब्लम ओके मे बी वी हैव सम टाइम आफ्टर दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कसिंग टू मेक आवर एप्लीकेशन डायनेमिक so here dynamic means what dynamic means when you are putting something and uh, you will get some uh, information suppose this api is fixed for kolkata but i want to make an application means i am going to put some information on the browser and they will and they will generate so i am going to use these things in my application okay but guys i want to make my website beautiful so i am going to add bootstrap so already you have already used the bootstrap so i am going to use boot strap so this is a website official documentation of bootstrap i need to go to read docs they are providing the api link so not api but cdl link so this is the cdl link i am going to open copy the cdl link and uh, come to the application go to here and uh, what i am going to open this india sort html and i am going to push under the header box save it and uh, you will see some changes on the website there is a button is changes this time so i am going to and i already added this but guys i am not going to change this application i am going to create a new application proper new react application where i am going to this create this weather application so i am going to close it this application and go to my terminal right now right now i uh, right now i am in wait ha i am in a winter batch folder okay this is my uh, uh, my work information i am in something like that a winter batch information and after that i am going to write i am going to create one more application in react and you know the react application can can be created by very easy you have to write npx create if you don't know what is the command directly go create react app command just open their website they are providing that command this is the command so i am going to copy this command oh, no no need to copy this open my terminal and remove this entire things and paste it. okay but make sure you need to change the application name. so my application name is weather app so i am putting the name is weather app and then i am pressing enter and we have to wait for some time and they are creating we have to wait some time here it will create the application if you guys facing any issue please let me know i will help you
so now it is completed and we need to go to that folder right now you are in winter as batch folder if you check you see there are two folder weather app and demo app so we need to go to uh, weather app folder so this is the command so write cd weather app and just open this folder in the visual studio code as simple as that so now just close it and open the terminal and now i need to be write a command npm start this will command will help me to start the application as simple as that okay just wait it is compiling no so in the last class i have explained this is the file where i am going to change but before this i need to be add a bootstrap so this is my link so i am copy this link go to the public folder go to the indian raw html folder and instead inside the header i am going to add this link this will help me to add the bootstrap as well as that now go to my application okay and after that just close this indexer html i am not going to change it again directly go to the app.js folder this is the file where i am going to change so this is css file added here so if you go to the css file and i am going to remove the entire thing from here or here if you save it you see your site looks so simple because you remove this css file now i need to remove the entire code here so i am removing this entire code and they are returning some error because you didn't pass any here so i am going to pass a html or like h1 hello world so this is the hello world is appearing now we are creating weather application share there sending a weather application. but i want to make the website more beautiful so i am going to use some bootstrap things here so search navbar and they will provide me a some ui stuff so i am going to use this stuff and i am copy this things and i'm going to add it here but the wait uh, react return only one element and you are returning two element this element first and this is second element so we are going to make it one so just remove it everything and make a div so and put your content there okay but if the d has no property and all you can ignore it directly remove the d and just pass the empty this is the beauty of react you can pass these things anywhere in the html page okay so this means we are making the single element and inside the single element they are adding another element to the challenge now save it go to the react application this is the weather app now i am changing this weather app from here to here okay and also i need to be change adding some color so removing this body i am going to add info this more beautiful you want to change the color of 
text you can pass text white just wait white text white is not working mm -hmm. so instead of this i am going to add text white here okay now so this text white is appearing and weather application is appearing so now this is ready So this navbar is ready. As simple as that. So now need to be add some here, something here, which looks like a weather application. So I am going to add. Okay. Also, guys, this is a component, guys. So I don't want to add multiple code here. I want to be make this code and uh, write this code separately in a different component. So now I am going to add. A file here called navbar dot js or navbar dot js. Okay, this is a navbar dot js, and I'm creating a variable called navbar. This is a function, and return something, and this return something is nothing. You are returning. this code and you will pass here okay and also you need to be export this navbar from here okay now save it nothing is changed now i am going to remove this I see your page is embedded, but I am going to be use this navbar from here to here. So I am going to add n a a navbar. They were suggesting me to add this navbar. Enter and close with this. Okay, and it will be. So whenever you change anything in this file, like s s s, I am going to add here. They are changing to this page also. So this is a way that you have to connect some component to another component. Now, this is the code has been added. So go to the app dot js. This time this page looks so prettier and so simple to understand. So now I am going to add some information here. Okay, this is called the main component where I am going to put all the stuff here. So need I need to make some beautiful things. So I need a div here, and this div needs as a okay in the normal HTML you have to write the class, but in the React you have to pass the class name instead of the class, and I'm going to class name is container. Okay, guys, this is the part of the Bootstrap. This is not part of the React, and I'm going to make a card, but a card should uh, card should be. Added on the center, so I'm going to make another div and pass name is row, and I make a column call md six. Okay, and pass hello world. You see, hello world is appearing. But before adding this car, uh, hello world directly, I am going to add it another div and pass it class name card, and then I am going to add this. So it looks like a card, but this card is looks it's not appearing on the center. So I am going to add one more class here. The name is justify content center. They will transfer this entire column to the center, and also I want to make some margin from top, which is like like larger margin. So I'm the five is good. Okay, if call six is too small, so you can change the call eight to make it bigger. Okay, perfect. 
if you want to make some add some shadow in the cart you can write shadow this is a simple definition of the bootstrap you have to memorize the system s h a d u s m a small shadow okay if you want to add more shadow you can add l g l g dark shadow okay but i think a small is prettier than any other things no i would remove this stuff and i'm going to write another deep and its name is cart header and i am going to add here suppose i am going to pass call cut call cut call cut is a pair okay if you want to make bg info they will convert this color to be this color now i am add another deep class name card body i am going to add weather info will add it here so this is the i am going to add here now i am going to add another d is called card footer and in this card footer i am going to add two things one is button and one is what a text field so i am going to add a row and one row i am going to add two d two column one column is size of 8 another column is size of 4 in eight column i am adding a input and here i am adding a button a name is fetch and see this is the looks like so why this uh, row and uh, why this button is not appearing on the left hand side let me check this this is the row this is the call oh sorry call for no appearing so input field should not look so cool so i am going to add a class name this name is form control this will make the website uh, you uh, input will make beautiful mm, okay and i am going to add button so i am going to add some class name here make it beautiful btn btn success or means primary or whatever you want to add primary is some like blue color okay and i am going to add btn block this will make the button so wider no wider uh it should be but i don't know okay anyway i am using some w200 so it is a text field this is a button and this is the weather information is here and uh, if everything looks good so you can go with that otherwise you can be add more stuff and i want to make it white color text so i know this some little some lots of thing are new for you maybe then uh, this the, this thing and that thing but don't worry about it uh, this is a simple ui stuff i am adding here and uh, if you want to uh, like uh, change uh, your style you can go with that okay now this is thing is ready but i want to show the information of kolkata here so 
so i am going to create a table here and i am table search table so you can use any table so i am going to add this table strap table okay so i am going to add this table here okay in this table i am going to add some column so this is a heading part so i am going to t head now this is a temperature so okay wait 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 everyone okay now so this is a tr and th this is like uh, country cd what i am going to add india like i am going to add temperature like Forty-seven C. Like pressure. Twenty twenty-four. Alright, HP. This is a unit actually. Suppose I am going to add this. And this side is looks like this. Okay. Like information. Now, because you added this information, like by your your hand, this this web this data is not from this API. So front end is ready. Our front end is looks so good. I need to be add whenever you suppose I am adding like here. When I adding Mumbai, when I click it. it will be change the data it will change the data to that way so i need to be fetch this information from xos lab so i am going to use a library called xos xos is a library is help me to fetch the data from the some link this is the xos and their documentation okay so i am going to first i need to install see how to install some library so this is the command npm install xls so you have to copy this and you have to be terminate your code first and paste it this will help me to install this library in my thumb, uh, in my react application if you go to the package.json you see You see, there's some library you already installed, and I'm going to install one more library called Access. Now Access is not there, but now I'm going to install and wait, press enter. After installing the Access, it will installing. Just wait. And see, Access is installed with their version. It is ready. Okay. Now again, I'm going to start and we will start. come to this page
Now, okay. So I am going to create a function here, and this function, like name is fetch data. Okay, fetch data, and I am going to connect this function to this page button. Clear? So I am going to add a on click. Sorry, on click, and I am going to add. A callback function here and click fetch and this bit. fetch data. Okay, and I'm going to add an alert for verification. Hello world. Now See, when I fetch, it will help me. When I click fetch, it will help me. Now, in the fetch data, guys, you are going to fetch this information from this link. Okay. So now, I am going to create a variable auto set, and name is like const and name is like base url and paste it also not this this link paste it okay or i am going to remove this key constant API key and paste it here. Okay. Now everything is done. So I need to be this. I'm going to use this API key and here and here. So I am going to add const. Suppose I am going to create one more variable constant, and this is a huge state variable because you are going to change this variable again and again, and this is your city. And I am going to add a state function also. State city name name, and after that I am going to use huge state. And by default, I'm set to be Kolkata. Okay, clear. Now first save it. Let's save it. So right now this Kolkata is fixed, and I am going to remove this Kolkata with this variable. And you know, in the React, in HTML, Pokemon, in the HTML section, you can access a variable directly by using curly braces. Just write this thing. Okay, the same link is it? Now, suppose n second because you are adding an input field. You are adding an input field. Whenever you click on the add, you have a value. One more variable I am going to add here. This is a current city name. I am going to add set current city name. I am going to add user state. By default, is pass nothing. You default pass nothing. And you are going to attach this variable inside this value and pass current 
city name and whenever you on change something here you are going to call this function change city name either you create one more function here or directly make a call function here like this and i am going to write this is getting from this input field and i am going to add let me set current city name and this is getting from this value so you have to write event not like that even not target and target has a value so this is the value okay done it now first so whenever you add like uh, mumbai it is meaning that you are changing this variable and it is attached to this variable current city name if you don't want to be believe me so i am going to add it here current city name so let me refresh it whenever i add mumbai you see there something is changing here also so now this is ready so now whenever you click on the fetch button this will button will trigger and after that you have to be set city name to current city name this current city name will be replace this city name and now i am going to add mumbai and whenever i click fetch it will change to mumbai done it now so i make the url fetch url i need a fetch url and this url is creating from this base url so i am using this asterisk uh, uh, like this asterisk not asterisk uh, whatever i don't know what the sign is uh bad thing thank, <laughs> thank you and so i'm going to use base url and uh, after the base url you have to pass the city name so city name is uh, your city name and you have to add app id let me check this app id confirmed a small i now yes and equal to sign you have to pass uh, another variable and it is name is api key uh, for better confirmation i am going to make an alert one more time this fetch url so i guess this is the right uh, thing is printed so whatever the name is this time i am going to pass delhi so fetch so weather q okay mumbai because 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 this is mumbai printing because you fetch after and you change these things so instead of writing this you directly write current city name here okay so again i'm going to pass mumbai fetch so this is a mumbai and after the fetching you change the mumbai confirm it great so now so this is ready api is ready so let's install the xos so if you go to the npm documentation they are giving the uh, better documentation directly you import like this and you have to use like this and this is the information city so simple so i am going to write directly write uh, const or maybe like directly write xos xos and when you access use they are important right and they use the get function okay inside the get function you have to pass this fetch url okay and you have to use call uh, like uh, then cache which like then in then it is another callback function using like response okay and also you can handle with a catch something went wrong if you send something went wrong like this 
So I am going to add console dot log here and of course error if there is something error it will print it here console dot log if something is uh, as a response is getting it is printing here everything is perfect no sorry so go to the inspect because inspect is available on the console you can see here so right now some issue is here i am ignoring this right now so mumbai is already here so i am not going to change uh, like fetch so something is printing here as a response means the ur is right and you see uh, here there is a data section is here data section is nothing data set the entire data you are going to be see here like base cloud visibility name mumbai uh, like uh, coordinate on something like that everything is getting fixed so now guys i need a one more variable that variable is your data weather data and this weather data is set to be set weather data and i am going to use another user state and pass nothing by default is variable is undefined okay so after that you see um, weather data user okay so whenever you get a response so you will see come to this another browser go to the browser and uh, there is a status is 200 every time whenever you are is getting successful you are getting the status 200 so you have to write if status sorry response dot status is 200 then you have to write set weather data response dot data let me check this data so it is meaning whenever you get this data is attached to this data and now you can use the data to change its value anywhere so suppose go to this uh, coordinate system and go to the main section if you want to see the temperature temperature is under the main section main section so it is meaning that weather data is a first variable it's this data and if you want to access the main you have to write weather data dot main so you have to write this but guys before adding this right now weather data is empty nothing is so you have to add some condition code here if you directly write directly write uh, like uh, this uh, like uh, where is the country name okay you see the weather dot sys dot country so suppose i am going to add this so suppose i am going to be change this to this weather data dot sys dot country so when you run this they are returning an an error and what error that uh, you cannot access this to the undefined that is true so as a developer you have to handle first so there is a multiple way to handle this first you add a condition here this like this ki weather data if fixed then we are going to be display this okay so this time when you refresh it just one second they are printing okay but the problem is there is a input field or button field is also be uh, means disappear so i am going to use control z means i need to be only remove this card body part
ओके ना सो आई एम गोइंग टू एड मुंबई फिच सो दिस डेटा इज ओके ओके दिस इज द थिंग सो डिलीट सो ना आई नीड टू बी चेंज एवरीथिंग टेम्परेचर सो इफ यू गो टू लाइक हेयर सो यू नीड टू बी कंसोल द डेटा हेयर कंसोल डॉट लॉग एंड राइट रिस्पॉन्स डॉट डेटा ओके Mumbai. So this is the output is getting. So if you want to change the temperature, temperature is under the main. So you have to write weather data dot main dot what temp. I guess temp. So now this two ninety nine in the not easy. If this is not in a cell, so this is a Kelvin. So you have to be subtract with two seventy three. So there and also you have to have to be add some JavaScript code here to fix to to fix to yeah. They are getting right answer. Twenty six degree Celsius right now is handling on the temperature. At the moment, if you want to go to uh, like uh, Delhi, this could be like low temperature at that place, fifteen degrees Celsius at that place. And uh, pressure, pressure is under the like uh, main section, and key is also pressure. So you have to write This is the pressure. Suppose I am going to check my city name. Code are of. I am living here. So quarter bar temperature is as close to the daily temperature. And suppose I am going to add Manali. Manali is temperature is higher. Or? And uh, city number. They are negative temperature at that place. So I am adding only three sections: country, temperature, and pressure. You can add multiple things like temperature maximum, temperature minimum also added here, and also like uh, some weather information is here. So I need a one more things uh, like here H three or H five, and I'm going to add class name BZ primary. Oh sorry, text. And I'm inside. I'm going to write here. Uh, weather data dot weather. This script. Okay, so suppose I'm going to add Pan. Just one second. Oh, sorry. Weather is an array, so you're right. Also, you can add an icon here. So, I am going to make uh, like this way. I am adding another row here.
and uh, this is icon so I want to use the icon so you need to be near the documentation let me check this weather open weather API icon so you see this I am using some Google also to finding finding the uh, like uh, okay this is the icon URL sorry okay and I am going to add another call for and I am going to use IMG SRC okay and put it here and uh, let me tactic just one second why am I not able to use this uh, sorry it's need to be back tick okay now and you add this link here and you have to add the icon uh, like at the end you have to write uh, dot icon and dot png I guess everything is right yeah this looks so beautiful if you're writing Pune whatever the name is there's some icon is appearing here this mix so beautiful and uh, if you want a more beautiful like pass HR so okay and you write text end so no it's not looks better so I need to put a CSX yeah send it ok and uh, suppose I'm going to add like uh, whatever city name is uh, Varanasi is and I'm going to add his name is Chandigarh Chandigarh so they are giving the this stuff so this application is ready this application is able to you can use this application but right now you see this the data is so uh, less only the three things is appearing but they are providing multiple data like sunrise and sunset so now I'm going to add this sunrise part. So adding one more thing here, TR, and uh, this is a sunrise. Sunrise. So now sunrise added, but I want to be sunrise and also a sunset. now remove this stuff sunrise is getting from under the sys so you have to write weather data dot sys dot sunrise now they are sunrise in a number same again sunset is also a number but I want to display in it in a appropriate time. So how we convert this number to a time? If you are using Angular, they are already a library. But you have to use another library called Momentum. Moment. Moment NPM. So this is a library called Moment. Moment will help you to convert the data parsing. 
so you need to go to their website first you have to add this npm install moment add xus so i am going to paste it here just wait for some time it will install in few seconds meanwhile i am going to check how moment work so this is a moment things we are going to use so now this is the function moment just wait it is installing okay now it is installed so now go to the section i need to pass this moment to a function okay so i am removing this and passing moment sorry moment and you pass the data is here oh sorry dot sys dot sunrise okay sunrise and you have to pass the format so now i'm formatting there are multiple format is available like this like this so i'm using i want to display the format in timing wise so i'm using lt or lts with the am pm as displaying here so i'm using lts if everything is right they are written just compiling it just wait for some time and if you go to the website just pass mumbai you see the timing is mm, they are timing like in uh, us wise they are not giving the right time so we need to be change to just find india here you need to be add one more stuff okay just one second i don't know it working or not let me check this Okay, I think it is not the right syntax. We have to add it here. I guess. Just one second. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Okay, there is an issue is facing. Okay, right now they are providing a, a timing from the US uh, calendar from the US time wise. Uh, because this library is created in the other in the US, and uh, I need to find the documentation how we convert in this uh, time zone. So right now, um, mm -mm. okay, I will check this. You can we go with this timing and date right now. So Mumbai, this timing is here. Now same as I need to be get a time for sunset time. Okay, so here you see that how we converting a timing in the application. Okay, sunset is also added here. This is added temperature and pressure. You can add the coordinate system also. Okay, right now whenever you refresh the website, you see. Then nothing is appearing, but you have added the city name as Kolkata by default. So I am going to add a one more hook. This is called the huge effect hook. This is called huge effect. 
use effect hook as a property it will call automatically it will call automatically so here you see the space data is calling when you pass the you have when you click the data when you click the button but i want to be face the data once when the page is loaded so i am going to add this use effect like this use effect use effect has a need to uh, parameter one parameter is a function and second parameter is a empty array if you didn't pass empty array it will work but i will tell you later why we need to pass an empty and whenever you pass this empty and you need to be fetch data calling from here what will happen whenever you refresh the page mm, something went wrong okay this data because by default your current city name is empty na in initial case and you want to be pass the data city name here so here you add a condition set current city name to okay i need i need to be uh, not write this uh, i need to be change this function here okay and i am going to change current city uh, city name okay now refresh it ah clear so whenever refresh it okay that this information is not ready because set city name is getting from current city name okay uh, uh. whenever you click the fetch this fetch button is calling this way and uh, one second one second just one second means it is working but when i you write the mumbai okay simple uh, nothing is just just and just change the code as if as uh, as previous only you have to pass a fixed value same value here uh, kolkata same value so now let me check what the issue we are we are facing here don't worry if you getting issue we have to fix this this is our working thing so mm -hmm. so this is a fetch your current city name current city name is oh sorry oh, i am passing it here there okay now now refresh it by default my uh, website is set to be kolkata when i refresh it it's set to be kolkata now change it to mumbai fetch and is set to be mumbai data has been changed delhi the pada has been changed sri nagar okay, if you want to make more beautiful website uh instead of text primary i am to use b a a d z e this is primary this would suit yeah and if you add some margin okay p3 and b like uh, you can also pass the state in okay, okay 
and your application is ready. This is a very beautiful application you have created by this class. And guys, uh, I have I am discussing one one or two more things here. But before jumping to that thing, guys, you are, if you have facing any problem, please let me know. Apart from this function, I will discuss this function later again. Use effect. But if, uh, if you are uh, forgetting about the use effect, there is any issue you are facing to understand this code. Right. Yes. Perfect. So now, secondly, I am talking about some props. Here you see everything you are reading on this, this page. Now this website application is so simple. The few thing is here. But maybe in the future your page is too large. Like very big, uh, like multiple pages are going to be So it is not good idea to write this way. So again I am going to create one more. And I am going to write main or like content dot js and I am going to create constant and pass content this is a content now export default Everything is right. I am passing a return. Where the data should be here? Should be here. No. And I don't want to be. This data, this table, this data, just one second, okay. Here I am going to add content. Okay, there is some spelling mistake you are facing. R U T R L. Okay, this is. So you will already copy this content and paste it here. Now I don't be need to be this and here. Okay. But the problem is you are passing this weather data and something like that. When I save it, you are seeing an error. Weather data is not defined. So you will pass weather data as an argument like this. Okay. And uh, because you are using import and import here and uh, app.js, so this moment should be added in this section. Now, they are seeing as some error that weather data is not. Uh, not using six and something like that so guys there is one either you have to add this weather data and pass and and they are working they will be added but suppose you pass mumbai it is not displaying anything it is working there is no error is coming so guys because you passes this argument you have to call this, you have to pass this argument from this page so here you see this is a content here okay now so here you have to pass the key name key name is same weather data is here so you need to pass the key name like 
weather data and you have to pass the value so value again the weather data you have to pass this value okay and save it done now pass Delhi this is the way that you have to be clear this confirm there any issue no sir but suppose not only this weather data I am returning the entire thing, entire stuff, container, whatever this thing, everything I am going to return. Save it, go to content, entire thing. Here, refresh it. What is the error you are facing? This. Because you didn't pass. So, go to this app.js and you have to pass the content. Okay. And contains need a key. This time you see city name is undefined, city current city name is undefined. State currency is undefined, everything is undefined here. Clear? So, either there are two options. Either you will create this variable on this component or you pass this variable on this component according to the requirement. So, That's one second. This one said why this issue is facing okay okay guys uh, I'm only uh, passing this variable next part where i'm going to pass not only the uh, data to this component but also pass the function this thing i will be discussing the later classes because so now you have seen multiple things here that how to uh, create sub component and add this component in single file like this i'm adding one component is here one component is here i also i'm discussing some like uh, data fetching things where i'm using the xos to face the library, access is simple library, just pass the get function to getting the data in here. In upcoming classes, not only the get function but also the multiple function like post, pass, and all, I will discuss this function in the later class. And you also understand how to be create in a like a, like a huge state according to the requirement this way. I'm also using some huge effect, but don't worry, huge effect function is a like difficult function to understand. And we will discuss this thing function in a brief in the later classes and uh, in upcoming classes. So this thing is completed yet. You will create a very beautiful application, weather application. And uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, 
in after the tomorrow your class will be done and that class will be very important class because where i am going to explain how to use the backend developer the front end development basic thing is completed i will come again the front end development when i understand some little thing as about how to create some backend api and you know, all in the later classes so guys to this point if you are facing any issue please let me know i don't worry i will share this code with you in few of minute and uh, where i you will understand everything so let me so i'm going to close my uh, like uh, so i need to be install upload this code so this is my github i need to be create a new repo and i'm going to add winter batch codes get repository okay so you are in the winter batch folder the two project are there so i'm going to upload both so i'm going to add git init there okay and i'm going to add this where is code okay git add all git this one is can commit uh code is ready and i need to be add to connect this to branch and it will use and wait for few minute your code will be uploaded and when you refresh this page your code is here both code oh oh sorry guys you cannot access this why you are not accessing this because just go to cd demo and you have to write uh, rf rm rf rm rf dot same as you have to write cd uh, cd weather app it is meaning that i am removing the git file from there and you have to write same code no everything is perfect now back to again git add git commit code and it works i hope this time it working so okay guys i will share the code in few minutes or maybe then tomorrow class Uh, you will get this. This code is not. Uh, you cannot access this file because this file is already uh, already in added in Git. So I don't know why to be shaded here. Git rm rf dot Yes, one second. 
Okay, I will save these things in a few moments. Maybe there's some bug is arising here. So I will fix this and share the code with you. Okay, in the same branch. This is the link. Okay. So I am copying this link in the browser and by the tomorrow you will get the code. Okay. Any question you have in your mind? If you have, please let me know. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, I just I will see your code in like uh, in the late, uh, in the next class. Uh, please, I will give you ten minutes demo. You will focus your project on that time. Okay.